Hello! So, um, today's video is going to be another video about hair. I wasn't planning on doing another one about hair so quickly, but um, I'm getting a lot of questions about hair and what people are doing wrong and how they get where they're going. So, we're going to talk about hair a little bit more today. Um, and actually, I'm going to go through products in this video. So, um, these are my same curls from yesterday. I showed you guys how I break the cast or scrunch the crunch is another name for it um, using the curly girl method. And so um, I was out last night, extremely humid in New Orleans. Um, I came home. I did not put my hair in a buff which I'll show you what that looks like, which I usually do, but I didn't put my hair in a buff last night because I was tired and I just got in bed. Um, and then I woke up this morning and this is what my hair looks like. I haven't done anything to it. I haven't any, ha added any product to it. I didn't put any um, uh, water and conditioner. Like this is just second day hair for me. So um, if I wanted my curls to be a little bouncier, a little fuller, I would put some conditioner in it, flip my head upside down, um, you know, basically like rub my roots to get a little lift, but, um, I'm not going to because I'm sitting in my house like this is my this is my typical uniform that I have on for uh, making my plastic surgeon vi surgery videos, which is my sports bra and my compression garment. So um, I did take a shower this morning. Oh, I took a shower and I um, I put my hair up in a bun and then I put a shower cap on. So which isn't my preferred method, but I was like, well, what do I care? I'm getting my hair done on Wednesday. So. Um, we're just going to kind of be in bum mode with hair for the next few days. So, um, when I talk about buff, this is the, like, I have a couple of these. I got them off Amazon for really cheap, but these are the buffs that I use. Um, I think these are the same ones they use on Survivor. I don't actually know, but it says National Geographic. I don't know what that means. Um, and it's, oh, hold on. I'm sucking light at this. All right. So it's actual buff brand. So this is what I do though when I'm protecting my hair at night so that um, so I'm losing my glasses so that it holds the curl better. It's basically, you just do this number and then my face is gonna disappear for a second. You pull it up over your hair. You kind of like shake your hair into it. I mean, y'all see how long, y'all see how long my hair is. And then I just tie up the ends like this and if you have longer hair or more hair than I do, just pull it up further. So then, so it doesn't pull off my head. That's why I do it that way. Um, and then like from here, so I just, I go to sleep like this, right? I got all of my hair is up here. It's pulled pretty smooth. The underside of my hair, who cares? This is the underside now. Who cares if that gets flat? Um, and if you really want to make sure that you get just the, like the underside is what's being smushed, flip your head upside down and do it. That's how I, I do it sometimes. If I'm already laying in bed, I'm like, oh shoot, I forgot to put the buff on. I do it the way that I just showed you. Otherwise, flip my head upside down, pull it. Um, and then the only thing that rubs is the back and it's the underside of the back. And who cares if that gets ugly, right? So this is my my sleeping attire. Um, so, and then to take it off, sometimes I unknot it in the morning, but like it's the morning time and I suck at life sometimes in the morning, so I don't unknot it. Um, the other thing, this is like my preferred, preferred method for showering and keeping my hair dry because I don't wet my hair every day. It takes a long time to dry. Um, I have shower caps. I have several shower caps. This one has like unicorn mermaid kitties. I think I got it for my daughter. She decided that she didn't need them and she has really short hair. So I commandeered them from her, but like totally ba bow, right? And this is like, if I don't even want to take my hair down in the morning, I just put on this here shower cap. I hop in the shower, you know, I push it back to my hairline, wash my face, pull it back down a little bit, wash, 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 out of the shower, pull this thing off. If I'm not ready for the buff to come off, I just pull off the shower cap. So. We're gonna go through a lot of products, so I gotta find somewhere to put them all. They're all sitting on the side of my tub right now. But pull this off, and I'm in like, all right, we're ready to go, right? So, not really, but we can pretend. And I would totally go out in public with my hair like this, like no shame in the curls I have right now. Um, okay, so let's go through some of the products I have. And I have a lot of products. Um, let me just show you. This is sitting on the, on my sink because um, I did order another rig from Amazon. It should be here in a couple of days. So my bathroom is like 
1960s chic. It has not been redone yet, so prepare yourself. All right. Um, so, oh, that's shower cleaner and toothbrush. You probably don't care about those. But these are all of the products that I use intermittently, whatever. So I'm going to show you what they are, though. We're going to go through them. We're going to talk about them. So this may end up being a long video about hair products. Sorry, y'all. Okay. So um, one of the important things is shampoo, okay? So you, if you have curly hair, like moisture is what you need for curly hair. You've got to have moisture. Moisture is what keeps your curls curling and lovely. It keeps them from like being super frizzy and crazy. So a super important thing is your shampoo. Stop using shampoo that's got um, silicone in it. Cones, they call them cones. So like dimethicones and silicones and methicone and whatever. Stop using that crap, right? The, that stuff puts um, a coating on your hair. And then in order to, and your conditioners have it in it too. So, right. So it puts a coating on your hair. Then you use a shampoo that's really harsh and it strips it. It causes your scalp to produce a lot more oil. So I've told you guys, I wash my hair like once a week. Sometimes it's once every 10 days, once every two weeks. It just depends on like where I'm at and what it looks like. Um, since surgery, I've been washing it every Friday basically to try to keep some schedule of normalcy. So my current shampoo is um, Avalon Organics Nourishing Lavender. Why did I pick this one? Well, I happen to know Avalon Organics is a good brand. I know it has uh, no, none of the cones in it. It doesn't have any sulfates in it. That's the other thing. Sulfates or sulfites, I always get those confused. Um, you don't want that crap in your shampoo. There's a huge list of ingredients though, right? I don't want to read through all that. So one good thing to do is you can look this up on like skindeep.org or know your brands. I've done a ton of research on this stuff. And so I'm already aware that there are no, there's no bad stuff in here that's going to jack up my curly hair. It doesn't strip it um, down to nothingness, which is good. So, but why this one? Probably because I went to TJ Maxx or Marshall's or Ross and it was probably on sale for like eight bucks or something. And I was like, oh, Avalon Organics. I love that brand. Um, and I bought it because that's how like not selective I am about my shampoo. I'm selective about the ingredients. Otherwise I don't really care. Like things like, and you do have to look at the ingredients because some of these brands that are like, oh, we're good for you. They put all sorts of garbage in their, um, in their products. So you just have to be careful about that. Um, I'm trying to see if I have any other shampoos up here. I don't. So I have a huge collection of conditioners. The reason, let me make sure I don't have any other shampoos. Uh, oh, I do. I haven't really started using this one yet. This one is uh, called Too Chic Pineapple and Ginger Ultra Revive Shampoo. And uh, it's by Giovanni, which is another really good brand. Basically, if they sell it at, at Whole Foods, um, it's not going to have the crap in it that is going to jack up your curly hair. So, um, and let me make sure because I never actually read this label. Yeah, it's good to go. Certified organic. Um, which again, doesn't mean anything that it's certified organic. It can still have sulfites or sulfates, whichever one it is in there. So when I run out of this one, which I'm almost out of, except for I wash my hair once a week, so it takes forever, I'll switch to this one. And again, I can see the clearance tag. I paid $6 for this at Marshall's. This is a huge bottle of shampoo for $6. All right, so conditioners. Now this is where we go a little, a little crazy. So... Please don't be another shampoo. Okay, this is a conditioner. Again, this is the Alba, Alba Botanica. I paid $8 for this one at TJ Maxx. It was on clearance. I literally, I just go here, hit up the clearance section. Um, again, this has no, none of the cones in it, right? And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, look up Curly Girl Method and that gets you started in this direction. Um, and having, you know, some clue of what I'm, what it is I'm talking about. Actually, this one does. It's got amodimethicone. Ooh, shot myself in the foot on that one. Anyway, the good news is this one, I actually mix with this. This is called a continuous spray water bottle. You get these at Sally's. They're, I don't know, six, seven bucks, something like that. But I pretty much mix about half of this and half water. And this is what I use to refresh my hair in the morning. So, but this does not, like, I don't actually use this in the shower. In fact, I pull it out of my linen closet specifically to show you guys. Okay, we're getting a collection here. Um, this one is in my shower. Again, it's an Avalon Organics. Why it's in my shower? 
I have no idea. I, and like, I don't use it. Uh, oh, I know why it's in there. Because um, before I didn't have any pump bottles of like the super thick conditioner. And so I would put this on my hairbrush before, and yes, I use a hairbrush, we'll get to that. I would put this on my hairbrush before I touched my hair because I don't want anything, like I don't want a dry brush touching my hair. And it's not even a normal hairbrush, like we're gonna get to that. So I would squeeze, I'd pump this all over my hairbrush first. That's why that's in my shower. But I also have more pump conditioners. Um, this is the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mefer Oil. I love this stuff. It smells so good. Um, so this I will use when, like when I wet my hair now, um, like if I'm in the shower and I just wet it, I, this goes in my hair and then it gets rinsed, you know, half-ass rinsed out. You don't have a really truly rinse out conditioner when you have curly hair, but, um, so I put that in. Now, the other thing that, um, I put in my hair when it's wet sometimes and this is, you'll see how full this bottle is, which means that it's newer. This is the Diva Curl One Condition Decadence. I don't like the way this smells as much. It works super, super fantastic. The reason I um, got this was I found it on walmart.com for dirt cheap. Like, I want to say it was like $11 a bottle, which it was mispriced because these are very expensive. I want to say it's like $30 plus for these. But I bought as many of them as I could, which wasn't a ton, maybe like three of them. Um, so I'll switch between this and the Shea Moisture when I wet my hair now. Um, okay, so now this is what I use. This is the Shea Moisture uh, Manuka Honey and Mefer Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask. This is what I use anytime I wash my hair. The texture of this stuff is like buttery Crisco, okay? It is thick and it is yeah, like it. So I basically like scoop it up, scoop a scoopful in my hands and I emulsify it and I put it in my wet hair and then I take my hairbrush, which has conditioner on it and I brush through my hair. So, um, but this is anytime I use shampoo, this comes in after because shampoo does strip the oil and I want to replace it. And this stuff is great. Shea Moisture makes different lines. So depending on what your hair needs, depending on what you like, um, depends on which line you use. For me, this happened to be the first Shea Moisture I picked up and it works fabulously on my hair. And I'm the type of person, it's like, oh, that works, great. Um, I could probably spend more money and try different things. Maybe I'd up my curl game, but it's like, will the gains that I make in upping my curl game be worth it? Maybe at some point, like I might try after this is gone. Um, some of the things I use after, so these were important when I first started wearing my hair curly because I used to chemically straighten it, my hair was like destroyed. It was literally breaking off in my hands. Um, I would take a shower and put conditioner in my hair and then put leave-in conditioner right behind that. So this is Cantu um, and this is a hair and scalp oil. I didn't use this one a whole lot, um, but this is still good. Like if, I, if so I, I would use this Cantu after I got out of the shower, like I would just scoop it, run it through my hands, and then run it through my hair, or like rub it in my hands, put it in my hair. Um, and this was because my hair needed more moisture. It was so dry for me frying the crap out of it with heat um, that this made, this helped tons, right? Because it's leave-in conditioner and it helps fix your hair. It helps add, moist add moisture. Um, and this is good if I noticed that my hair was still dry, like, or even after I would um, do the continuous spray bottle, I would put some of this in my palms and just basically hit like my ends mostly with this stuff. Um, and this is the Cantu Tea Tree and Jojoba oh, Hair and Scalp Oil, but it would, <laughs> it's supposed to be scalp oil, but I put it on the ends of my hair because that's what was really, really dry. And I was trying to maintain my length. Um, so what I put in my hair after I'm done with the shower, right? So like I'll wash my hair. I use that green Avalon Organics. I brush my hair. And let me show you my hairbrush, okay? Because this is not a normal hairbrush. This is um, a Denman brush. If you see this, this has got, it's silicone. It has no knobbies on the end. So, you know, you always hear comb your hair. Well, this is basically the same effect, but it's the bristles are closer together. But there's no knobbies. So the knobbies don't get stuck on my hair and they don't rip out my hair and they don't break my hair. And that's really, really important that you're not ripping your hair out, right? Here's the other thing. This hairbrush does not touch my hair unless my hair is wet and full of conditioner. That's the only time that I brush my hair. Um, 
So, okay, that's not quite true. Sometimes I will dry brush my hair to make it just huge and ridiculous and then I'll take pictures and send them to my friends because it's funny because my hair like, I don't know, just grows, right? Um, but that's super important. Don't brush and don't comb your hair unless it's wet and full of conditioner. So, um, and like I said, denim brush, there's no knobbies on it. This slides through my hair. It does not rip my hair. It does not break my hair. That's super important. So wash my hair. Oh no. So I wash my hair. I put the, um, hair mask on it, brush it out with that brush. I'll let it sit. I finish washing up. I'll shave my legs, do whatever. I, I love water. So I'll just kind of sit in the shower and go, uh, just like enjoy myself for a while. And then I sort of rinse my hair out. Like I don't do a great job rinsing my hair because I want to leave that conditioner in my hair to keep moisture in my hair. Um, and then I use Diva Curl Super Cream Coconut Curl Styler um, for me because of the amount of hair I have. And a lot of this is experimentation of finding out what works best for you. I put four pumps of this in my hand and my hair is like dripping soaking wet when I do this I flip my hair upside down in the shower I don't even get out of the shower at this point um and I just run it through my hair like you know just like when you finger comb it I run it through my hair and then I'll do they call this praying hands I'll praying hands put it through my hair um and my hair is still dripping at that point so that's why I use so much of it because my hair is so wet at the time so and I I love this stuff uh again I found this for super cheap at Walmart and I bought like six or eight bottles of it because I use it every single time that I get my hair wet. Um, the last really important thing that I use in my hair and this this lives on the side of my tub with this right these things live in my bathtub together um, because they're post shower products I put them in before I go to the shower it's the same for me as like like body wash and face wash and shampoo and conditioner. They live in my shower because that's when they get used. So this is Diva Curl Ultra Defining Gel. This is not Archangel. This is not Light Defining Gel. That crap does, I shouldn't call it crap. That's not okay to say, but that stuff, those products do not work for my hair. Like it needs to be the Ultra Defining Gel. Um, and as you can see, I buy very large bottles of it. Why? Because the amount that I put in my hair is typically about the size of a lemon. Um, I put a lot of gel in my hair. So, but it doesn't look like it, right? It doesn't feel like it. Um, if you watch my Breaking the Cast video yesterday, then you saw that my hair really only gets crispy by my scalp. Um, and then that's where, where you really have to break, like obviously you break it all up, you scrunch it all, that's part of what gives it the curl. But, um, so even though it's ultra defining, it doesn't make my hair hard or crispy, but it holds my curly well, curl really well. It helps it from frizzing. It helps keep it defined. So, um, but the gel is again, my head is still upside down. Like I don't pick it up after I put in that curl cream and then the gel, I basically will start. So like I'll run it through close to my scalp. That's part of why you see that gets so crispy in my, my scalp. And then, um, I will run. I have no idea what that was. That was really weird. Um, so I will run my hand or I'll pick it up from the bottom and just scrunch all of that gel into there. And you can see the curl groups start forming and the the waves start forming, which is pretty cool. So, uh, and like I can watch it from the top and like watch those curls start. And I just like squish in that gel, right? And like water comes pouring out. I just, oh, I'm really aggressive with it, um, with squishing in the gel. And so, and lots of it. I'm gonna make a video showing you guys how I do this as well. And I forgot one other key component and I'm gonna go grab that real quick. So. Okay, so the last thing I do is when I get out of the shower, I do something called plopping. And basically I take all of my curls and I stick them inside of a t-shirt, a cotton t-shirt. Um, you can use a terry cloth towel, but they tend to absorb a lot of moisture. So I use a t-shirt. So this is an interesting t-shirt. It's um, a super Jesus t-shirt. It was actually uh, given to my daughter by someone um, special to her and she didn't want to give it away uh, and this is not something that she would ever wear out in public and so I said hey can I use that for my hair like that way it stays in the house and like it's getting used and you know it's not something that goes to waste and she was like yeah okay cool right so I know that's kind of strange but like 
t-shirt. So you guys have seen me plopping in videos and I will do um, another video again with technique. So um, that's getting me to my day, right? And then um, the, I, the other thing I didn't show you guys is my diffuser that I use. Uh, and then I have some other like stuff that I use that I'll show you. Like this is a rat tail comb. The only thing that's used for is making that part. And I do a half ass job because I'm lazy. So rat tail comb for the parts, clips. Um, I'll put my hair in a bun and clip it instead of using a hair tie. If I'm feeling particularly not lazy, just like that and then put a shower cap on. Um, you can also use it for root clips. I have not worked out the volume on my roots yet. One day I might get there, but I'm not there yet. So, um, but those clips are also great. Like if you're doing an old school hairstyle and you need it for like barrel clips or whatever. So the other thing I use sometimes is Evolve Age Wonder Balm. Um, I use this if my hair is particularly frizzy. So especially if it's been several days, I've been adding a lot of water and conditioner, then I'll take some of that Wonder Bomb, emulsify it, and just like very gently pat it through my uh, part. And then I'll very gently run it over my curls and then I'll squish them. A lot of time I will flip it upside down and scrunch them with it. Um, I don't use that super often. Part of it I think is that I just don't know how to use it right, um, but I do find benefit to it, so. Um, the, other, the only other thing I didn't show you guys is my hair dryer with the diffuser on it. I have this massive um, diffuser on the end of my hair dryer because um, if you just point straight hot air at curly hair, it's going to blow those curls to smithereens and you don't want to do that. And so the diffuser takes the air and kind of spreads it out and makes it a lot more gentle. So, um, but anyway, so those are the products I use. Um, that is literally like the entire, everything I possibly use on my hair during the course of, um, time basically. Uh, my favorites, that's what gets these curls that I have. Um, and lots of moisture guys. That's the, that's the ticket is lots of moisture and experimenting. Like what's going to get you there. If you have been flat ironing your hair for years, like I did, you're not going to get there in a week. You're not going to get there in a month. Like it's literally going to take months to get to the stage that I'm at with the curls, with the spirals. Um, I was super embarrassed when I first started wearing my hair curly because it looked like shit <laughs> and I knew it did, but the only thing I could do was get through the looking like shit phase to get it to where it's at now. And like, obviously I'm very happy with my curls. I love my curls. I get a gajillion compliments on my curls all the time, which is great, right? Who doesn't want to be complimented on something they've put so much time and effort and love into. So, um, and especially since it's something I battled for so many years, um, and finally am embracing and am glad that I'm embracing. So I, you know, I love that people compliment me on my curls because it's like, oh, thank you so much. Like, gosh, I spent so many years hating them and like, oh, I'm so glad that people love them as much as I do. So I know that seems weird, but, and I'm not usually one for a lot of external validation, but it's cool. So if you have questions, let me know. Um, I'm not a hair guru. I'm not a hair expert. I know what works for my hair, I probably have no idea what works for your hair, but I'm willing to take a guess and it's probably going to be moisture. You need lots of moisture for your hair. So, uh, it's getting hot, hot up in this old bathroom. I turned off my ceiling fan when I started this video. So, um, it's time to go turn that back on. So like my video, subscribe to my channel and check out my Instagram, which is fat girl gone slim 79 and more videos to come. Have a good day. Bye.